Well, from L.A. to the U of A, all eyes were on the game. No doubt, and we were right there with them. Not on your side's Kevin Keene is live in Main Gate Square on University Boulevard tonight with more on the end of the road to Atlanta. Kevin. Jennifer, you could feel the intensity of the game just walking down the sidewalk here on University Boulevard at bar after bar. Hundreds of hopeful fans, many of whom still here, still talking about a great game that turned out to be a bear downer. Seconds on the clock, the Wildcats chant becomes more like a prayer. Some even fold their hands and make this a nail biter, literally. Out here, how would you describe the tension? Oh my God, I haven't been this nervous since uh, when I rushed a fraternity freshman year, man. The only thing breaking that tension is a commercial break. <laughs> Next, a last second rally on the court, an eruption on University Boulevard. <laughs> Then, for the first time tonight, silence. Eyes glued on the flat screens, even officers stop and stare. Then, the oh-so-sweet 16 turns sour. I was hoping this atmosphere would just erupt and just ignite with flames and bear down, you know what I'm saying? Final score, 70-73 Ohio. I love the Wildcats, they had a great season, great coach, great players, but I mean, it's... It's really sad to lose this way. Sadness, but no booing. Instead, gratitude for a great game. I think that's why March Madness is fun. Close games, you, you put a lower seeded team against a higher seeded team, hope for the underdog. All you can ask for is to have the last shot, and we had that, you know? There's always next year. Hey, bear down Arizona. Next year we got them. We got them next year.